One of the most common reasons we get a referral is because of a raised PSA, the prostate specific antigen blood test. We thought this video would be helpful to talk you through what the PSA represents, what an abnormal reading means, and the different causes for an abnormal reading. And we'll also briefly mention the percent free PSA and what this means as well. The prostate is situated at the bladder outlet in men. It's drawn here in red. PSA is excreted from the prostate in seminal fluid and some of it leaks into the blood. It has no purpose in the blood. As we get older, the PSA value increases gradually. And there are age related limits for normal PSA. There's a range of measures in the population. And for example, at the age of 50, the top end of normal would be 3.5, 60s, 4.5, and in your 70s, 6.5. In most men, the reason that the PSA increases as we get older is because the prostate increases in size. The bigger the prostate, the more PSA it releases into the blood. If we have a PSA that has increased more than expected, we have to ask why has this happened? So the first reason is an increase in size of the prostate and this is benign prostate enlargement. A second reason is infection or inflammation in the prostate. This is actually very common and this area of infection or inflammation irritates the prostate and it releases more PSA as a result. A third reason is the presence of prostate cancer. And again, these abnormal cells secrete more PSA than normal. The reading that we get is the total PSA. You'll often see a percent free PSA reported as well. When PSA is released into the blood, it is released as a free molecule unbound. In the normal setting, a certain amount of this PSA is bound by plasma proteins. We can measure the amount that's free and we can measure the total PSA. In the presence of prostate cancer, we think that some of this PSA is abnormal and more of it is bound up by plasma proteins. So the amount that's free goes down. Therefore, we use a low percent free PSA as a risk indicator for the presence of prostate cancer. The lower the value, in theory, the higher the risk. So that's a very short introduction to PSA and what it means and also to the percent free PSA. Your urologist will discuss this with you in clinic at length. The next steps can be to repeat the PSA and to see which way it is trending or to organize a multi-parametric MRI of the prostate. Please check our other videos and you'll see one on prostate MRI. If there's any further information you need, please don't hesitate to contact us and we'd be happy to see you in clinic to discuss your PSA.